from the story in the question you have to come out of the stories and you have to start understanding mathematics from the variables and every maths question is about given variables and derived variables and based on the given variables there will always be a process which will involve into plus minus or divided by to get you to the derived variable and normally the derived variable is what the question is all about a man travels at 50 km per hour for 5 hours the given variables are speed and time and the derived variable is distance the next question might be if i want to close the question at this point i might ask you what is the distance traveled by him or what is the distance from delhi to jaipur so if you start visualizing triggers and reactions inside math situations you start automatically getting better at it and triggers also are of two types one type of trigger is direct language trigger where the language is so obvious that you know what to do with it and you just need to sort it out until you are not uh, understanding that language and not doing what is required out of that language till you don't set that right in your mind you'll keep getting it wrong so that's the first thing you set right in math when you go to any chapter first focus on finding all the language triggers and familiarizing yourself with each language trigger and uh, coming back and doing that uh, or finishing that off and uh, the second kind of triggers are situational triggers so in maths a lot of times what happens is uh, you come across this trigger and this trigger and this trigger and these three give rise to three values that come in front of you now what do you do with what has happened the question does not tell you so that's where you have to think yourself so that's what i call as a self generated thought so you will realize that even an exam which is as tough as cat obviously the first kind of question is easier the question which tells you everything questions where you have to generate a self generated thought is where what becomes difficult right but even if you look at the cat the toughest years of the cat you will realize 50 to 60% questions even in the cat do not require self generated thoughts they are trigger oriented in points you know why people fail or or find it very difficult in dilr is because 70 80% of the questions these days are uh, built on self generated thoughts they give you a situation and you have to think through that and that's why the people who are dependent and who study for cat like school they never get a hang of data interpretation and the problem solving skills required there